Here we have what appears to be a complex situation that may actually arise in, in real life, by the way. Uh, but it appears to be a complex situation, lots of words, lots of phrases, lots of terminology. But at its core, we can strip it down to a very simple, straightforward time value of money problem. So the way I'm going to do that is just uh, think about what the two different paths that you could take are as the consumer. Okay, so uh, path one, you could pay today. So if you choose to pay today, you're going to have a discounted price, right? You're going to take $11,000 and subtract 10%. So $11,000 minus 10%. So that's the same thing as $11,000 times 0.9, right? 90% of $11,000. So if you pay today, you're going to pay $9,900. Alternatively, if you pay in four years, you end up paying the full amount. So if you pay in four years, you're going to pay eleven thousand dollars so there's your payment options one or two all right so what do we ask for we ask for an implied interest rate okay that connects basically connects these two payment amounts all right so let's let's draw a quick picture on a timeline so we can see what's going on so option one is 9,900 here, and option four is $11,000. Okay, so those are equivalent payment options, right? So we just gotta find an R that sets those to be equivalent. All right, so this is the basic present value of a single cash flow calculation, right? So we're gonna say that $9,900 is equal to the present value of $11,000 four years from now, all right? So that's four years from now. So we know that we've got a one plus R in the denominator raised to the fourth power, right? And so if we just solve this equation for R, we have our implied interest rate. So we can do that and write our R as a decimal as is called for. So that R is 0 0.02669 or 2.669%. So there is the answer.